this is the big news. This is the big one. Fox News has been exposed as a dishonest organization terrified of its own audience. Um, so, um, because Fox News lied about the company called Dominion, Dominion sued them, and now they all have to go to court, and lots of text messages and stuff like that have been unearthed, and now we get to see what they are, and it's a normal part of the uh, trial that they release these things. And reveals that the network's most senior executives and highest profile hosts chose not to disclose what they believe to be the truth of the election out of fear that the facts would alienate Fox News audience and throw the highly profitable business into ruin. They are lying for money. So the there is a counterclaim by Fox on this. Mm -hmm. Um where basically Fox says that they were just covering claims made by uh, Trump and his team about the election fraud. Mm -hmm. So that is a newsworthy thing is if presidential candidate or the, uh, the, the loser of the presidential election makes fraud claims mm -hmm. and has a team that's going crazy about it, Mm -hmm. um, yeah, it's newsworthy. I mean, I so they aired that stuff. Yeah. Now, <laughs> um, what the, the what happened here is that Dominion made a lawsuit, and this is actually why um, this is actually why a lot of these cases get settled out of court. Mm -hmm. So the discovery in this case actually picked up a whole bunch of. Uh, like text messages and emails from mm -hmm. different hosts uh, who basically had uh, there were there were some very interesting uh, messages. There was uh, um, uh, Tucker Carlson had some messages um, where he was I don't know who he was talking to, but he said that he says Sidney Powell's lying. By the way, I caught her. It's insane. Oh, he was he was writing to um, Laura Ingraham. Okay, so the yeah she, he news said and then who's on TV, telling people what is and what isn't real, knows that she's lying, and doesn't report it. Well, he caught her in a lie in an right. interview. But he didn't say that on air. He doesn't tell the audience that she's a liar. That's the that's the problem. That's where the issue lies. MSNBC the super left woke uh, news organization also covered the things that Sidney Powell said. But after they covered what she said, they told their audience that she is a liar. And the things that she is saying are not true. And that's the big difference between the two right now. Um, yes, you're right. It's newsworthy when the previous president says uh, the, the votes were stolen, the, uh, uh, account was wrong. Everything's a lie. Uh, I actually won. This is newsworthy. Great. Cover it. But afterward, you tell the audience the things he's saying are not true. And Fox didn't do that last part. They didn't do that last part because they didn't want to do that last part because the people who are watching it and listening to it want it to be true. They do not want reality. They do not want facts. Fox News viewers do not want reality and facts. They want the cultivated imaginary world that they think is, is to be presented to them. And some of them do, I'm sure. I mean, and that's why they would, they moved over to Newsmax anyway. Right. The Newsmax uh, goes whole hog, goes even farther into horseshit, bullshit, and unreality. And they started picking up Fox's uh, viewers. People were like, oh, Fox isn't telling me what I want to hear. So they go over to Newsmax and then Fox loses money. This is upsetting them. So they stop reporting the truth. They stop uh, uh, reporting reality. And then at some point, I think they actually mentioned firing the woman who was telling the truth. Let's yeah, see. Fox's counterfiling basically says that, so, yeah, some of the hosts viewed the election fraud claims skeptically and others viewed them hopefully. But all of them thought they were newsworthy, so they covered them. Now, I mean, if you're an, a host and you're on the right and 
you hope that uh, the election fraud claims are true, then you might be more uh, agreeable to them. But G Jackie Heinrich tweeted a mere fact check of Trump's election lies, so she told the truth. Carlson says, please get her fired. Seriously, what the fuck? I'm actually shocked. It needs to stop immediately, like tonight. It's measurably hurting the company. The stock price is down. No joke. Truth means we lose money. So they were, l they're, they're lying for money. And it's literally proven in court that they lie for money. Yet, they will continue. Uh, Carlson, Tucker Carlson will continue to be the, have millions upon millions of views every single night, literally lying to people. And that's fine. Apparently, we live in the misinformation age. This is just going to keep going on. So, in this case, it's she did a fact check, a fact check of of uh, a Trump tweet, right? Mm -hmm. And this was not good for Fox because of the because their viewers don't want to watch Trump fact checks. I mean, I get it, right? Like that's going to hurt your viewership if you do that. So right. maybe Carlson, news. yeah, and and just that on its own wouldn't have gotten uh wouldn't have gotten this kind of a reaction, I don't think. And you see it down right there below is uh, Hannity says I'm three strikes. Wall is shit debate. Election night a disaster. Now this. Uh, did I mention Cavuto? Cavuto is telling truth, and they don't like it. Um. Well, it was Heinrich. I know, but yeah, he's he's, cha he's changing about. the subject. But yes, uh, Heinrich said true things. The, the, Donald Trump said a lie. Jackie Heinrich said, hey, here's what the truth is. And they want her fired for it. Because the truth hurts their bottom line. News organizations shouldn't be run for profit. They didn't used to be. It was a long time ago, but uh, they weren't a profitable thing. If news is expected to turn a profit, this is what will happen. And I'm accepting that it would happen on the left, too. It just hasn't right now. If it is more profitable to tell your audience what they want to hear rather than what is real and true, then they'll do it, too. This, this right here, this story is why I make that stupid joke about reality having a liberal bias all the time. That's why I make that joke. I think this this story is um, maybe played up a little bit. How do you think? Uh, it's well, not a, it's not you a have a whole, you have, <laughs> you got uh, some selective leakage, I guess I'll say, from the discovery process that's that's taking place here. Um, and then, like, these are the quotes that, that Dominion has picked from the selection process in order to, to put into their filing against Fox News. Sure, to prove their point. So, problem. how many other, how many qu other quotes are there that would go against this narrative that weren't part of that filing? Right? How, how, like... You think there uh, are opposite direction tweets like Carlson and Hannity to, uh, texting each well, other? Well, there's at I least mean, one here okay. where Carlson actually confronted uh, Sidney Powell, mm -hmm. uh, and he says that if you don't have conclusive evidence of fraud at that at the scale you're claiming, uh, it's cruel and reckless to continue to say them. Mm -hmm. uh, Basically saying, if you don't have proof, then shut the fuck up. And did he say that on the air, or did he just text that to her? He, he, it was to her. It was between the two of them. Okay. But, uh, and I mean, if, if, if Dominion can find a clip of him appreciating her after that text was sent, I mean, does it prove their point? Dominion is saying, hey, you lie for money. And... I'm saying they lie for money, and the texts are suggesting it. And it, you're right that uh, if Carlson sent that text to her, 
but then afterward continue to promote her? Then he's lying for money. That's possible. Uh, if he proves in court that he sent that text, and then after that, we'll have a date and a time on it, and after that, he does not show her on uh, his show, or he uh, questions her or doubts her veracity, her uh, sincerity, and her proof after that point, then he's being a journalist. That sounds fine. But they would have to prove that in the court as well. So, I mean, this is a this is bad for Fox News, which is good for America. <laughs> Maybe. I don't watch them, so I don't know. I know. Um, and that's that's fine. It's just like this is the thing that has been people have been saying for a very long time. This is this is not a new new uh, accusation that Fox News literally lies for money, but they, we now get to see it in court. And what happens? They lose one point six billion dollars, and then continue on like they always have. Oh hi! Thanks for sticking around to the end of the video. Uh, if you liked what you saw hit the like button press the subscribe button uh, if you want to tell me how right I am feel free to leave a comment if you want to tell me how wrong I am uh, leave a comment too that's good um, this is just kind of a hobby for me so I appreciate you uh, coming by giving it a watch and uh, pressing the YouTube buttons thanks